हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज रुंजय पटेल गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट डेटा पॉलिसी एज अप नाउ वी हैव सीन दैट हाउ वी कैन अप्लाई यू आई पॉलिसी एंड क्लाइंट स्क्रिप्ट दैट वर्क्स ऑन द फॉर्म लेवल एंड द क्लाइंट साइड बट वी डू हैव अनदर कंसेप्ट दैट इज कॉल्ड डेटा पॉलिसी इफ वी वॉन्ट टू अप्लाई सम रूल एट द सर्वर लेवल for form validation basically on that case um, service now has created this capability called a data policy right it works a similar way the way uh, ui policy work but only difference between ui policy and data policy we have that ui policy work on the form level or client side we will say on the form level and but the data policy work at the uh, database level or server level what do you mean by uh, server level and database level right it means if you have written any data policy on form or on basically a table then while submitting a form it won't check it will make a call but before insert or update or before um, performing a crude operation to the database level it will check the data policy that is the uh, we would say that we are doing a form level validation but at the database level or at the server level that is only the difference interviewer may ask you this question what is the difference between ui policy and data policy then simple answer is that ui policy works on the client side and the data policy work at the server side right but the most of the functionality are same we both uh, data policy and ui policy use for the form validation itself fine so how you will create a, a data policy you just type uh, but before uh, starting this guys it's my humble request if you have not uh, like and subscribe my channel please do so right and uh, this uh, series basically uh, let, let me open my youtube ch a channel over here right let me just do it right let me type uh, runja right so this is my youtube channel and uh, this is the series uh, let me just open this one fine so how you want to do oh my battery is low let me plug in the battery fine so uh, the playlist uh, which uh, right now uh, making a video just click on the playlist and you can see all my playlist as of now uh, so this is the old one uh, this is also uh, having a service now fundamental course but this one uh, as of now uh, as you can see here 22 videos are there we are making a service now tutorial this will clear your uh, service now fundamental concept okay and but we do have a other uh, playlist like if you want to learn item like a cmw and discovery then watch this one and if you want to learn the mobile application development then this series will be helpful integration related video i have uh, kept over here csm video we have over here right a scripting all video if you want to have uh, a scripting knowledge in depth then this uh, playlist will help you right so that's all let's uh, go back to our uh, data policy video so um, here so from left hand side you just type uh, data policy you will come under the system policy rules and click on the data policy you will be present with this uh, data policy table here it will be having uh, all the uh, data policy which is present in the system right let me open the side by side ui policy as well right so let me open over here ui policy and this one uh, we had created in our earlier video right and from here let me uh, create a new uh, data policy so let's understand uh, you'll be asking hey runjay we have a form level validation do we really need a data policy at the 
data level uh, database level validation then on certain condition i would say yes not always but uh, for few client uh, which i have worked for them they want to make sure that uh, data accuracy has been maintained properly so i would uh, i will say you where is the loophole okay so uh, while writing this uh, ui policy what we have done we have done um, a state is in progress then these two field become a mandatory so if you are on the form then it's okay let me open the incident form again fine and uh, let me open this so if you are on the form then system will not allow you to uh, submit or save the form until and unless you are not filling the assignment group are assigned to but what if if i will let's say if i will try to uh, remove this one and if i will try to save then it will give me error because this is the mandatory field right but what if if i will try to remove it from here okay just let's check it does right it, it, it's removed now a state is still in progress and we have removed the assigned to value from the uh, list view so where is our form validation it fails right so in this condition what we have to do if client is asking to we have to make sure that means data integrity is maintained properly based on our rule defined so in this case if they are telling you like this then we have to make sure that means UI, we are applying a ui policy on the form if someone is trying to become over smart and try to avoid the rule then we should have uh, one more place to check before updating or inserting a data so for that we have a data policy so how we will convert this ui policy into data policy then service now has given an option we, you can see here convert this to a data policy right here this one so this uh, related link link if you will click then it will convert it will create a uh, data policy for you but in the data policy we will be having an option whether we want to run this data policy on the form label as well or not as a ui policy let's check so let's say if we are going from here right so i'm just going to create a new data policy so if you can see here this is uh, look like similar to ui policy fine so first we have to select the table right and based on the table it will give the condition so what we can do let's understand from here itself we will uh, convert this uh, data uh, ui policy to a data policy so let me click this over here so new data policy created from the ui policy we got it so now this become a, a data policy so let's check what happened to our ui policy right so uh, we have a ui policy over here right let me open the ui policy as well we will make it side by side but the moment you will convert this uh, to uh, UI policy, sorry, data policy, then uh, system will mark your UI policy as inactive. So it, it won't be applicable. You got it, right? So now your data policy is wholly responsible to perform the validation on the client side as well as the server side. Correct? So we don't require uh, to write a separate ui policy to perform the job because we have option use as a ui policy on client side right if you are unchecking it it means it won't check at the uh, client level 
it's better always if you are writing a data policy then you just check uh, if you want to apply on the form label also in certain condition uh, we um, we are not uh, making this checkbox checked because let's say something if someone is applying writing some logic and then if uh, if they are trying to do if at the form level it is not possible something or uh, form we are not making a form visible to the end user using a background or something uh, um, it happened on that case we can ignore but uh, most of the time you just let select the your policy runs on the client side as well fine so let me explain you one by one like your table you already know we have to select the table inherit already you know i have already explained if you want to apply in your child table you just do it reverse if false uh, again i have explained it it is always similar like a uh, web policy right active if, if it is inactive it won't work uh, apply to import set okay so these two three fields uh, we have a new on the data policy apply to import set so import set basically it will help when you, when you are importing a data into a respective table let's say you are uploading a data using a data source right and that time you have written a import uh, uh, transform map right on that time if you want to make sure that means uh, if a state if someone is trying to make it in progress and assign to and assignment group value is not passing on that time it will not allowed to add or insert the record basically you got it so it will check while importing a data this will check uh, while applying a soap integration right rest and soap uh, integration you are already aware so while um, inserting or updating a data if you are doing through the integration soap integration that time if you want to make sure this uh, rules run at the database level if uh, someone is not passing uh, the proper value then it should not insert then it will check at that time level as well right so other thing are same here we have a uh, data policy rule that assigned to similar like a mandatory we are making it right we don't have option to um, hide and so related list because this uh, data policy basically uh, meant for um, performing a validation at the server level or database level so um, hide and so it won't work uh, right so as you can see here for the data policy hide and so column itself it is not there only though we can make it mandatory and read only fine hope you got it about uh, data policy right Thank you and thanks for watching. If you have any question, please leave a comment. I will try to answer it ASAP.